Scorpio, what's up? This is your general reading for December 1st through the 15th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Since this is a general, I'm not going to be focusing on any one particular area. Whatever comes out is going to come out. If you're looking specifically for a love reading, those are already posted on my channel, so you can just head over there. All right, so your overall energy. Um, I pull Mother Mary Oracle as well as regular tarot, so we'll start with the Mother Mary first. And the overall is always the person I'm reading for. Whether that's you, Scorpio, or you, Crosswatcher, this is going to be the energy that you're taking on dur during these two weeks. Everything else here is interchangeable. We'll get to that in a little bit. All right, so here we go. Your overall, Our Lady of Creative Choice. All right. One small stone tossed into a lake can create seemingly endless ripples. So, <laughs> this looks weird right now. So to do our choices create an impact... That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, so do our choices create an impact far greater than we might at first expect. Our Lady of Creative Choices come to you with a message. No matter what situation is happening in your life, no matter how powerless you may feel to change it or control it, you have so much power here. If you knew how much power you had, you would laugh with relief and wonder and reverent joy. You would realize that you don't have to control anything or anyone in order to feel empowered. Your power doesn't come from controlling outcomes. It flows from your endless capacity to make choices. Our Lady of Creative Choice helps us when we know that the way we've been choosing to be, perhaps feeling reactive or out of control, might not be serving us anymore. Perhaps we've not felt much choice in the past. Perhaps we might have got caught up in feeling frustrated with another or out of control in certain situations and all we felt we could do was react. Or perhaps we become so caught up in trying to get things done or work things out that we forgot we have to get, that we do have to get a say in our lives. This oracle comes to you as a reminder. You have the power of heaven within you. You don't need to control life, but you can choose whether you dance with life responsibly or resist its flow and feel pushed around by it instead. Through paying attention to what is happening for you in the moment, whether it's feelings of happiness or sadness, a feeling of letting go or moving on or staying put and learning something, you can then make a choice about how you wish to respond. Your responses to your life circumstances are your choices to make and a source of great power within. You can receive any visitor into your home with a welcoming smile or a bellow of rage, a laugh or a clear directive to move on. It's always your choice and the right choice will be what feels right for you at any given moment. A smile might feel right one day and rage feels right in another situation on another day. It's always your choice and your choice creates a pattern of energy that interacts with what is creatively igniting change. You don't have to control it or foresee it. You just need to rem remember to choose creatively and most importantly of all, with honesty, how you wish to be. Yes, guys, everything in your life is your choice, okay? All right, now... Your overall tarot is the Six of Pentacles. This is, it's equal give and take. It's being balanced, whether, you know, you're in some kind of balanced situation or you're just in balance with yourself. And it's it's also an energy of giving and sharing. It's, it's being financially stable enough to share with other people, to give to other people, right? Definitely a good card to have. Um, I am going to clarify it, though, before we move on. Let's clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio, please. Clarify the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio. Six of Wands. Nice, guys. Two sixes. It's all about balance. Um, Six of Wands is victory. It's feeling victorious. It's feeling confident being recognized for the efforts that you put in whether that's at a job because it is pentacles energy here or just your home life whatever whatever it is for you it's it's really feeling like you are on top of the world awesome 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 all right now your recent past you have the three of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to mean anything three of swords is hurt though it's heartbreak it's hurt it's betrayal it's, you know, you suffered some, some type of hurt in some situation, and it's in your recent past. Hopefully, it's going to stay in the past. Hopefully, it's not, you know, still going right now, but that is something that is in your past. 
Hopefully it's healed or will be. You're present. You have the Knight of Swords. This is air energy again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is being really fucking honest. Honest with everyone in your life. Cutting out the bullshit. Cutting out anything that doesn't serve you. That isn't going to fit into your life the way that you want your life to be. Right? Um, could be something, someone coming in with some conversation. Revealing some type of truth to you. Or you to them. Where you're just like you're not... You're not having anything less than, than ultimate truth and clarity, okay? Could be um, a younger air sign that you're dealing with as well. Doesn't have to be. All right. Let's clarify this Knight of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Scorpio. Ten of Cups. Okay. Ten of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, this is a happy home. This is like the fairy tale ending. This is where you want to be if you're in a relationship. If this is a relationship reading for you, it's like some truth and clarity about it. Like maybe somebody just getting really honest about what it is that they want in life as far as their relationship or their home life. Let's clarify. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Scorpio. the star whoa sweet aquarius energy this is one of my favorite cards isn't it beautiful um the star is ultimate healing from the universe it's like wishes being granted again it's more recognition like it's rejuvenation it could be like a, a relationship issue that required some serious communication or some clarity and and some healing here um so that's good shit doesn't have to be a relationship though but it does look like it's involving your home life okay your immediate future you have the knight of cups more water energy cancer scorpio pisces this is someone coming in like a fucking knight in shining armor with their cup of love um again doesn't have to be a romantic situation although i do look at it that way um it is genuine it is younger though and it doesn't necessarily have to be someone physically younger than you um, because this could be you rushing in too, right? This can go both ways. Um, but maybe just like more young minded, like more playful, romantic, flirtatious, all that good shit. All right, let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Clarify the Knight of Cups. Oh, the world reverse? Okay. Um, all right. That's like unfinished business, like a cycle that is trying to close and it's not closing. Maybe there's like some elevation trying to happen here in your life and you're kind of resisting it or someone else is or you're still looking for closure on something and it, it's just not happening so you're kind of in this like holding kind of stagnant place like I always say guys we don't need closure it's in our head we don't need anyone to tell us it's okay to move on um, so there might be this new offer here this new love offer but someone is still stuck in something else that they don't feel like is quite done clarify the world reversed for Scorpio Clarify the world reverse for Scorpio. The Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You don't have to be. If you are, they're probably not in the best place because they are reversed. Um, but, you know, if that's not what that is for you, it's don't isolate yourself so much. All right? Don't, you know, hide out too much that you're completely closed off from the outside world and I think that that's a, a wonderful thing to do for a period of time but make sure that you're not doing it you know for like the rest of your damn life <laughs> you know what I mean just don't isolate yourself okay all right your potential obstacle you have the high priestess you need to get in touch with yourself spiritually you need to listen to your intuition above every single other damn thing in your life it's so important i cannot stress it enough listen to yourself listen to your intuition and get in touch with yourself spiritually 
right? That's how you're gonna be able to elevate. That's how you're gonna be able to close out this cycle that's kind of just hanging around. Um, and it might not even be like a situation. It just might be like a behavior pattern that you need to move out of, right? And the only way that we do that is to really get in touch with ourselves spiritually. Whatever, that sounds off the wall and I don't really care. That's just, it is what it is. Clarify the High Priestess. Clarify the High Priestess for Scorpio. Okay, two came out, we'll keep them. All right, so as an obstacle, two of wands, at a crossroads, having trouble making a decision. And the one that came out with it is the Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Page of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So there is an offer here for you, and you don't know if you should take it. Um, it is a stable offer. It is new. It could be like an offer, whatever. It, it could be a committed relationship. It could be a job. It could be a home. Anything that is tangible, stable, Um you know what I mean? So you're at this crossroads and you're trying to figure out if you should accept this offer. And in order to do that, you need to listen to your intuition. Let's see what's on the other side of this two of wands. So on the one side, you've got this new offer, whatever it is for you. Clarify the two of wands on the left for Scorpio. Oh, or you have the Four of Wands, reverse. This is instability. Um, this is my 1111 card, but it is reverse. So it's like w these two paths that you have, one of them is committed, one of them is legit, and one of them is not. One of them is like way unstable, you know, not a good time. <laughs> All right. Let's get your advice. You have the nine of wands reversed. You're gonna have to drop some shit, all right? It's really overwhelmed, really heavy feeling. Um, you may have a lot of responsibilities in your life that you might need to delegate to someone else or if a situation itself is really heavy, you need to drop it. So the nine of wands reversed is like, you've been put in a lot of time and energy and effort into a situation, whatever that is for you. Um, and you've been really trying, really persisting, and you are like right there at the end about to give up. And that's like the nine of wands reverse as an advice card is it's kind of like, a, yeah, it's time. It's time to stop putting so much into it because it's just too exhausting, too draining. All right, let's see what else we got. Clarify the nine of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Nine of Wands for Scorpio. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right, dysfunction. It's dysfunction in the home, in the job. Um, you know, you might be having some financial issues and you might need to just, I don't wanna say don't try so hard, but when you kind of let go of your worry about that a little bit and get in touch with yourself, take some time, um, you know, to heal and get in touch with your spirituality, whatever, that stuff kind of tends to work itself out, if that makes any sense to you. Um, but it is giving up a situation that was already dysfunctional, okay? Let's get you one more advice card, Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio, December 1st through the 15th. It could definitely be a job that's just, just too fucking much, too stressful. Or, you know, a dysfunctional home life, whatever. Advice for Scorpio, December 1st through the 15th. Oh, the lovers. All right, Gemini energy. I don't think the signs are relevant in the advice position, but if you do, then run with it. Um, this is the need to get yourself in balance and make sure that you are not um, engaging in any connections that are out of balance, okay? Once you let go of something that's dysfunctional, you can have this balanced connection here. 
Um, it's also the need to make a decision. Obviously, you have the Two of Wands here as well. You know that there's a decision that needs to be made. You know that there's a cycle that's trying to close out. Um, and it wouldn't be that way if it wasn't for your own good. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's just the need to drop some of the shit that's going on in your life. Anything that's dysfunctional, anything that's just weighing too heavily on you so that you can get yourself back in balance, right? Okay. Take care, Scorpio. I will talk to you guys in a few days with your next love reading.